this was a family member that called me their AC unit went down after two weeks of purchasing this property their AC unit went out and it basically wasn't working it was freezing up they called a large company in the area the large company went out and basically the only option was to replace the unit four thousand some odd dollars you'll see in the video what I find now in some circumstances I've been there um, where there's just a lack of knowledge you just don't know you're you're inexperienced you don't know you you don't know what to look for um or you just missed it you just flat out missed it and mistakes happen we're all human but uh i don't think this mistake should have been missed by you gaining the customer's trust by saying hey it, you know 200 bucks we can get this unit fixed today i'll give you a quote for a new unit uh, give us a call when, when when you need that new unit. He's going to need a new unit. So and who's he going to tell everyone to call? He's going to tell them to call you. In my opinion, I'm not even sure that the blower motor door was pulled off because if the blower motor door would have been pulled off, I surely hope the guy would have reattached the condensate drain for the draft inducer motor. And hopefully this encourages somebody to, you know, not only go for the sales route and the commission, Go for just getting the customer and making the customer happy and making that customer a lifelong customer. Welcome back to the Handy Landlord. So we have a no AC call. Let's check this bad boy out. Yeah, that's nice. Somebody marked the pressure switch there. I have suspicion that there's some issues with this blower motor. So I'm going to check this out first. And then I'm going to try to kick the unit on and see what's going on. Got a new water heater too. Did you get my AC fixed? It's not looking too good in there. Okay, let's see here. Sometimes you get these higher end filters and it just, it's too much for these older units. They can't get enough airflow and get it across the coil and then the coil freezes up. So they had a company out here that told them they needed a new unit, which I don't think so. It's old as dirt, but I do not think they need a new unit. I'm gonna take this panel off right here and see if see if I can see the coil and see if it's dirty. Looks like an access panel right here, so I'm gonna take that off. Loosen up some of this stuff. Close it down so I'm just like that with the coil down over there. Okay, got her cleaned up. The discoloration there, that is probably smoke nicotine on there. Okay. So what in the world is going on right here? Has anybody ever seen this? <laughs> what? What is that? It must have got sucked into the AC and or into the blower motor or something and shot into that wire like that. Look at that. Okay. Okay, doesn't look that bad at all. Some wrappers here, nothing, nothing too crazy. Lower motor's all clean. The rest of that is actually, there's just some rust on there, but it is clean. Ready to go back in. I did fix this wire 
I'm gonna tape all those wires together. All right. Let's put this blower motor back in. real quick just to make sure that this capacitor is good just double check so if you remove one of the wires the meters don't and then just go across the leads and it should come up to five because this is a Oh snap, is this one bad? Huh. I'll be darn. Right, let me go grab one out of the truck. Other trucker. Alright, I have the new capacitor right here. Right here, if I put my leads on this capacitor. Just show you guys real quick. So I have my leads on there right now. And... Um, at 5.1 the other capacitor was 1.4 to 6 and it wouldn't go any higher than 1.4 to 6 so it's 5.2 you get my AC fixed? How much are you going to charge me? A lot A lot. I'm gonna charge you a lot. But I'm family. I don't care. <laughs> ah, how much for it? All right, some janky. Uh... All right, got that hooked back up, and they got that at a severe angle. All right, that's clamped in. Got that. This, <laughs> this is great. So. Over here, so you have your condensate pump right there, pumps out this tube right here. Oh, I was trying to figure out a way to get that tied in. Oh, I would just drill a hole right there, that'll work. Perfect. All right, Clark, looks good. It's probably not going to leak. I do like the, the PVC with the ABS. It's a unique look. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a sink.